The conspiracist's view of the world is that control is exerted through the control of money. In this country, we operate under the golden rule. Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Whether or not this type of nefarious global control exists, it is true that the Bilderbergers have been successful in at least controlling media coverage of their meetings. Leading media moguls are always invited to Bilderberg conferences, but only under the strict understanding that they will not report on what they hear. So, for instance, Catherine Graham of the Washington Post has been to many Bilderberg meetings. One of the inner core Bilderberg members is Conrad Black, who owns 68% of newspapers in Canada, Telegraph newspapers in Britain, the Jerusalem Post, and a stream of newspapers worldwide. Um, not one word has appeared in his newspapers about the Bilderberg Group. The steering committees and the bureaucracies and the meetings themselves had their own concern rather intense concern with not being mentioned in the press and, and, and had this brilliant idea of, of co-opting whatever press they did invite and then going higher and higher in the press as they invited it. But it's quite something to have more than a hundred people um, attend a meeting one weekend a year, all of them at least of some importance and to have nothing in the mainstream press about them. That's quite remarkable. I, that in a way may be the most remarkable thing about them. If you, and I have done many times, said to journalists, let alone the general population, tell me about the Bilderberg Group, this glassy-eyed look comes across, the what, the what? And yet, the major people, they are reporting every day on members of an organization together, different political parties, different countries, everything, uh, and they've never heard of it. And a few people can't control the world, well, obviously they can, and get away with it. But just how obvious this version of the world is depends on the eyes you see it with. And in the history of secret societies, perspective is everything. In the next five to ten years, we are all going to live in a global version of Nazi Germany. If it's a conspiracy, it's not so much a secret conspiracy as the way power operates in America, the way an elite perpetuates itself in a democracy. The Bilderberg Conference usually includes high-ranking American officials. Former Treasury Secretary Lloyd Benson was a regular for many years. Taxpayers allegedly pick up the tab, but their public servants aren't allowed to reveal anything about the proceedings. In recent years, the secrecy surrounding the conference has grown even tighter ever since protesters disrupted a World Trade Organization meeting in Seattle. Bilderbergers want to avoid any similar demonstration that would bring even more attention to their famous and famously secret meetings.